Hey there guys, Zach here from Winbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 9879. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the previous build, so uh, let's just dive straight in. The first noticeable change is the movement of the notification center button. It used to be here uh, on the left hand side of the system tray, but now it's on the right next to the clock. Why they moved it, I don't know. Is it a good place? I guess we'll see. The next noticeable change is uh, not Cortana. OneDrive got a massive update. Um, new UI, lots of new features, and it appears to be actually saving my entire OneDrive um, collection on my hard drive, which I don't think is a good idea. Uh, lots of reports that OneDrive is balked, uh, in quotes, or broken in this build, um, by lots of things. It's working okay for me, but it's not exactly doing what I want it to do. I don't want it to do that, it's just automatically started to do it. I guess I'll have to fix that uh, another time. Sadly, the uh, network window still opens in PC settings. Um, there's a new change, or new feature, sorry, or option on the taskbar. If you right click it, you can now hide or show the task view and search buttons. If you click on them, as you would expect, you can search, you can hide the search or the task view button by clicking on them. So if we do that, looks like Windows 8.1. Let's enable task view for now though, because that's the one I actually use. Moving right along, there's a new Windows Insider Hub, which is here. Not pinned by default, so you'd have to search for it within the apps list. But this is um, a nice little hub for insiders, which allows Microsoft to communicate with the insiders about upcoming things, changes, features that aren't really supposed to be for the public. Um, so as you can see here, it's got a list of changes or noticeable changes. It's got improvements to the Windows Insider program, known problems, and so on. Whilst we're here in the modern UI app, the, there's a new hamburger icon. It's not really new, it's the same menu as it was in the previous builds, except instead of it being three dots, it's now the hamburger icon. A uh, much more universal look to it, so everybody knows what it does. Another new change is the Windows Feedback app got an update. Uh, it now has a bunch of new settings, so if we go to Windows Explorer, you can sort results by trending, most used, or the Me Too's. The Me Too's being the ones that you agreed with. Um, which is pretty nice. And the final most noticeable change in this build is improvements to the animations. As you can see, or in the previous build, uh, the animations were jarring. However, in this build, Microsoft have updated them with a fade effect, which makes the animations much more smoother and nicer. This is what they were supposed to be originally, and they finally work. So there you have it, guys. That's the main bits in this build. Uh, this is the last preview build of the year according to Microsoft, meaning the next preview build we'll get will be in 2015 and will probably include a heap of new changes over this build. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And stay tuned at winbeta.org for more regarding changes upcoming to Windows 10, as although Microsoft has stopped issuing builds to the public, Microsoft will continue compiling builds daily and issuing them to partners, meaning there will always be changes to talk about. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned at winbeta.org, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.